Hey YouTube, and I'm back with another video, and this time we're taking on a YouTuber high score challenge. And this challenge was set by Retro Red Steve, um, and it is, uh, as you can probably tell, it's the Sega Classic Shinobi. Uh, so try and get a high score on Shinobi, which was a challenge that I was kind of half expecting. By the way, that's a demo, that wasn't me, uh, to occur, and that's with all the math system and whatnot challenges going around on Twitter and YouTube at the moment. And one that I was kind of a little tentative about because I've got history with this game, and it's not good. I mean, I got it as a kid, love it, great game, great action arcade game, you know, go from left to right, kill enemies, rescue hostages, all that sort of stuff. Um, but I struggle with two things. One, the bonus stages, which are quite important for getting high scores, and two, uh, getting past the third boss. Very important for getting high scores, actually being able to get further into the game, so yeah, those two things are going to be rather challenging. Um, but yeah, Shinobi, I kind of just briefly touched on it. Uh, you know, it was an arcade game. I prefer the Masters version, frankly, because it gives you a life bar. In the arcade, it was one hit kills, which was, uh, ooh, that was a bit <laughs> showy, I guess. Um, you know, but I think it just is a lot more enjoyable to play when you can actually make the odd mistake without having to kind of keep pumping money into a machine. And it was a tremendous conversion, I have to say, for the time. Now this guy here, you can actually just walk, because he's right up the crate, you can just walk up to him and whack him with the sword. Uh, not all of them you can do that, most of them in fact you can't. But the big kind of, I suppose, gimmick back in the day was the fact that it was a two-plane or multi-plane mechanic. So you see sometimes I jump up and down between the two, and that's, um, there we go, that's dump back down. And that's kind of, it was kind of like Rolling Thunder, I think did something similar. But the kids that you rescue, by the way, they give you various power-ups. Some of them give me a point, so that guy gave you 10,000 points, which is obviously important for um, high score challenge. And they also give you things like life upgrade and give you access to the bonus. Um, it's interesting with the life, you need to get two... Uh, you need to get, get the life extension and then get life max, otherwise you, you don't really get the improvement. Because if you die... Anyway, I better focus, because I'm crap at the bonus stages. You can ignore the guy on the right. Some of them just see don't attack you. So th I missed the blue guy, by the way, and he would have doubled my reward. Um, but some of the ninjas don't attack you, and it is a set pattern. So I got 13 by 500 points. So that, that's how you, you know, each bonus stage will give you more and more um, points. So you actually really do need to get them. And because I actually completed it, I also got magic. If, you, if I didn't complete it, I would have just got a you fail message. You'll probably be seeing that. Very irritating. Um, and you would get no score. So you really do, you know, if. Oops. Sometimes for this level in particular, I get just kind of blasé about it. I don't know why. Uh, and see, oh, Sega with their copyright kind of issues. You got Marilyn Monroe here, and you got Spider Man practically hanging on a wall. Um, of course, Revenge of Shinobi would take that further with all sorts of movie and uh, pop culture references that got them into a bit of trouble, I believe. And had the game had to be um, redone. So, yeah, it was clearly there that they were just into their pop references and like to include it in their games but you know you probably got away with more in the early 80s than you would today certainly even by the uh, early 90s you might notice my magic is flashing that means I can now use it and you can just jump and hold uh, if you jump and hold the jump button you can see I kind of I'm praying almost then press attack and you use your magic the magic isn't very useful uh, the one I got is rope, which basically binds the enemies. Uh, but yeah, I don't, I don't really use magic all that much. The, the one that can be useful is the flying magic for the fourth stage. Uh, lobster that has a bunch of bottomless pits that can be quite tricky to avo avoid. So magic can be useful. There's no bonus stage in this one. Uh, this the first area is actually a bit shorter, one stage shorter. So we're straight on to the boss, Keno. And this boss isn't too bad. You just kind of, kind of jump at the back to. Ooh, the fire nearly got me though. You know, kind of, you bring the fire over and then attack his face. There we go, and he's dead. So that was the first stage. Nearly do it in my sleep, it would, except for the bonus stage. I'm actually kind of surprised. The first three bonus stages, I have at times done all of them. I don't, but pretty inconsistent. 
you know, I might get one of them and that was that. So I'm probably done on getting bonuses. <laughs> uh, if, if I was able to do Mandara, I probably would actually try it more. But not being able to defeat Mandara means that my score is naturally going to be severely limited anyway. So, eh, the bonus, uh, you know, multipliers and stuff, they don't really have as big an impact then. This level is rather interesting, I find, because the the stage is more interconnected a bit. But also, these this background, these the kind of warehouses, whatever they are, um, they kind of look a bit odd and they kind of shimmer quite a bit, uh, especially on emulation. And it happens on RGB Scar too on a CRTV. I, I, I'm kind of curious if it did that on an RF or a composite, because sometimes those things kind of blend together and it's it actually creates a very different picture. You might also notice I no longer have ninja stars. I have these kind of bouncing bomb things. Bouncing grenades, I think. Um, the shield guys, by the way, don't turn around, so you, you're kind of fine. Uh, the bomb things are very unusual, and there's no other weapon like them in the game. Probably not the best, but they definitely have their situational uses. Like when people are down pits, you can, um, you know, throw stuff at them. And you can also do this, where you you kind of let your bomb kind of you fire your bomb and it's kind of get out of dodge, and let it kind of bounce its way to the enemy. But you can only fire one at a time, so that also leaves you kind of vulnerable. So, mm, you know, not the best. Uh, the next weapon is gun, which is much better. I was near the end there. Uh, I think I actually should have stayed on the left because I don't think the guys on the right were going to jump at me. Damn it. Oh well. That you fail message I just find so demoralizing. Mind you, Shinobi's... You know, if, if you complete the game, you get the exact same message as if you had died. You know, just game over. As, as a whole, it does seem to be slightly... Yes, that is that. What's really disappointing, though, is that you don't get any, you know, of the bonus. You don't get... You know, it's it's all or nothing, which makes it just feel so harsh, I think. You know, I could understand maybe not getting the, the, the magic, but not getting any score for it, too, is just irritating. You know, I like the music for this game. It's just as well though, because there isn't much variety, and I suppose that that's indicative of its time frame. You know, you didn't have these big soundtracks. So you can see the bomb, the grenade thing can be useful, and here's another example where I can just throw down a hole there at your man. Now, he would ordinarily be a bit of a nuisance to kill, um, but you could actually just avoid him, jump up there and go over, you know, and go back down. But I actually like having the bouncing bomb and just drop it in. Yeah. Now I was aware that shield guy was coming up, which is actually why I was not talking so clearly there. Um, ooh! Ah, oh, damn it! There is another kid down there, but he's just got a sword, so he can he can stay there unrescued because uh, apparently I'm a very merciless shinobi. I don't think you get points for you know rescuing kids. You only get points for the ones that give you points, you know, instead of like weapon upgrades or bonus things. So, yeah, he can stay there. Now, I do have to be a bit more careful with my health in this one than the first area because um, the second level boss, well, it's not that difficult, but uh, let me see. Not again! Ah, oh, damn it! Ah, oh, dear, oh dear, oh dear. That was right near the end again, which is actually so annoying about that. You get right near the end and then you get nothing. And to be honest, I just don't enjoy those bonus games at all. I mean, they're kind of technically impressive for the time. I think they did a good job of, um, of porting them to the mass system. Oh, shit. 
So as I was saying, I had to be careful with um, health and stuff. So this level, though, those um, factory things or those warehouse things become more prominent. This level is also quite important in teaching you to jump kind of physics because you, you can just get into the water here no problem but later on there's going to be bottomless pits so it's kind of good to use and learn about positioning because you see how far I'm standing off the edge you know to, to make that jump if you do get to lobsters area you know you do need to be a lot better at your jumps and those frogmen will jump out pretty much at every area except for the, the ones where there's kind of like only a single gap between but it's best thing to use just assume they're going to jump out everywhere and of course sometimes there's two of them. It's nice when you get two two and one, mind you. We're at the end of this stage already. Oh! See now, if I do make it the lobster, those jumps will have to be better or else I will be dead. Because I miss bonus stage three, and bonus stage three gives you the flying magic, which is kind of what you need. So yeah, not good. Black turtle. Okay, that was good, and um, got through that. Phone went off there, so I was just checking what it was. Apparently it was Supermax, and they got some weekend deal, but they can keep it. So we're on to stage three, which um, is kind of the beginning of the end for me. And unfortunately, I can already tell that like if I had completed bonus stage two and three, which I can do at, at times, I know that my score by the time I get to Mandara, win or fail, would end up around a little over three hundred thousand. But it, I, I'm not going to get to that now because I didn't complete the bonus stages and I missed those pretty heavy multipliers because they go up, you know, per per round. So yeah, well, oops. See the bullets go straight through his shield, which is great. Uh, and of course, I don't think no, if I, I don't think I mentioned, but if you die in this game, you lose all of your upgrades, all of your health extensions, everything. So it's it's very punishing. It's a bit like the um. No, I didn't do that right. Yeah, that's better. Should have gone right instead of left. Yeah, I was kind of focused on these guys because I wanted to go back for them. There we go. Is there another kid over here? There is. There'll probably be another bonus stage or something, but to be honest, after round three, the bonus stage is... Pfft, yeah. Okay... Oh, he's gonna! No, I knew he, I, I knew that guy when he doubled back was going to. Uh, yeah, yeah, I fail. I know, bloody hell! Oh. This is kind of a slightly awkward place to get down because you have to wait for him to, you know, move back. But more awkward will be coming later on. There's a guy that's lying on the ground that's a bit of a nuisance to get by. And you get your life uh, replenished there, but to be honest, I think I, I would rather it later on in the level. And I've got the sword. Oh, should have waited for that guy because he will come up here and then just bang. There he goes. I don't need Xanthan over there. Oh, there's a kid over there, though. Chain. I think Chain is the most powerful of the short range uh, weapons. Damn, that was really not good. 
I'm just going to avoid him because I tend to get hit. And we got a bonus stage, but like I say, after the kind of third one, they're not happening. I think there's one more than I can go down, is it? Oh, I go down here. So the kind of plane mechanic actually does change up a bit, you know. It's not really dual plane, it's multi-plane at this point. It's more dual on the first level where you're going back and forth. Oh, there's no enemies. That's kind of a rather barren, you know, end of stage there. So what, we probably have the bonus stage and then the final level before Mandara. Yeah, this this is um, really past my uh, area where I can have any chance. Ugh. Oh well, yeah, you failed. I mean, what else is new when it comes to Shinobi for me, it seems. That can be actually a challenging start. Uh, kind of beginner's trap, really. There's blue ninjas in this level that are a bit of a nuisance. And I'm just waiting. I can't remember where to jump in. But they do, and they're fast and deadly. There's one, anyway. Oh, we got two of them, but I think there's a third around here. And they're dotted throughout this level, so... That guy, that blue ninja there, he's a bit odd. See, he technically jumped over me. He, he, if I was to go down there, he would have been there, but he kind of, he exists in both plane and neither plane. See, look at this. Whee! Oh crap, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well, I got away with that. I think another one will be coming in a second. Yeah, there we go. Thankfully, the gun kind of helps. Here, just keep shooting them down. Boom, boom. And I think that's it. And by that's it, I mean that is probably it because, see, I'm at 250,000 just over, but I know I would be closer to 300,000 if I'd actually see six succeeded on those bonuses. Yeah, I can never do this, by the way, so. I hate this boss, I hate this boss, I hate this boss, I hate this boss. Yeah, that's, that's done. <laughs> I mean, I'm not even close. I don't know, is it just that my reaction speed is not fast enough now as well? I used to be able to get closer to, you know, I get down to the last one. Now I find I can't even, I'm not even anywhere near that. <sighs> this boss. Being in my existence at Shinobi. That's it, Ned. <sighs> My hand is killing me. And I'm going to keep doing it because actually <laughs> I, it does push your score up. So. I might get 300,000 just from Dynamandara. Jesus. 
So I'm getting a little better, but my hand is not enjoying this one little bit. This one's not going to be as close. Ah, oh, jeekers. <sighs> Bloody hell. me that time and there I think that last one was my... Oh, there we go. Damn it. That was actually close, that second last run. I don't know what I got, 340,000 or something. That's actually not too bad. I'd have to look the video back to get the score. And I think I was shaking... <laughs> shaking the, the laptop and stuff. <laughs> I was trying to press the button so fast. But there you go. That was my attempt. A uh, 342,300. I probably would have been another 30, 40,000, well, 30,000 maybe higher um, if I could have done the bonuses. But, eh, however, that's as good as it getting. My hand is absolutely killing me from Mandara now. I need to go and put it into, like, a bucket of ice or something. I thought I had it there that, that second last time, and that's that's kind of where I could get to the odd time, you know, where I'd just be there, but I need an extra kind of second or so. But anyway, thanks to, um, I say thanks to Steve for putting the challenge together. I've seen his score is like half a million plus, uh, you know, or he's able to do that type of range. So yeah, and I, if you can get to the Mass Ninja, and the thing is, if you can get past Mandara, the next few levels, other than the bottomless pits, actually aren't that bad. Uh, but yeah. We leave it there. Um, thanks for the challenge. We'll talk to you soon.